Hey guys, good day and thanks for coming back to the next video. Hey, in my last video here, I spoke about uh, three different types of prophecies that are coming to, um, to the world and specifically to the United States. And one of those I just want to hone in on with a short summary video. So in my, in my last video, I spoke about how that, that there's nothing new under the sun. What has been done is what will be done. And in the same manner, when Jesus came the first time, uh, his own uh, disciples, here's Cleopas and another unnamed disciple on the road to Emmaus on the day that Jesus rose from the dead. And they were, they were just dumbfounded as to the events that day. And Jesus said to them, he says, Oh, foolish ones and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. And then as they walked on the road to Emmaus, Jesus spoke to them and he opened up the scriptures and their own hearts burned inside of them on the road as he described uh, the prophecies that point to the suffering servant or the Messiah being crucified. So let's just jump to a prophecy that's in the Bible. Jeremiah 50 was written by the prophet Jeremiah about the year 5, uh, 620 BC and in this prophecy he speaks about Babylon, a nation called Babylon and about how Babylon is going to be destroyed. And he describes all sorts of events that occur. I'm only going to talk about the ones that point to the United States and how we can figure this out. But um, I've done all these other studies on Babylon. You guys can go and search that too. So I created a document that really easily allows us to look at the words from Jeremiah and make a decision about who is Jeremiah speaking about. Is he speaking about the ancient nation of Babylon from 2,600 years ago? Or is he speaking about a futuristic Babylon that will be destroyed? So these are the nine characteristics, attributes that he gives this Babylon. He says that this Babylon will be the hammer of the whole earth, a destroying nation, the last of the nations. That surely couldn't be ancient Babylon. They have a heritage of being proud. They're a land of images. They produce images that's mentioned four times in these two chapters, 50 and 51, about these images that Babylon just sends out all over the world and causes the whole world um, uh, to sin because of these images. They are the richest nation. They dwell by many bodies of water. They used to be right with God. And they're considered the praise of the whole earth. Now, when you look at these nine clues, can you think of a nation on the planet today that's the last of the modern nations that fits these nine clues? Okay, there's only one, and it's obvious who it is. Okay, and we'll talk about the Vatican in a minute. So if you look at ancient Babylon, this is a picture of the Middle East. Here is Babylon. There is no, there's a couple rivers, a little bit of the Persian Gulf there, but it does not reside by many waters. Okay, so it's pretty obvious who Jeremiah is speaking about. Um, so these are the, the verses that actually contain the information. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go through every one in detail, but you can see here what I've highlighted is the clue and then the comment. Obviously, ancient Babylon cannot be the last of many nations, either the Vatican either. Okay, The hammer of the whole earth. Obviously, the, uh, the United States has the most powerful military that ever existed. We are on every continent. We have over 600 army bases all over the world. Russia, I think, has four or five army bases outside of its borders. We have over 600. That's why we're broke, by the way. We're very proud. We produce images, Hollywood, TV, all that stuff comes out of the United States. Babylon was, was a golden cup in the hand of the Lord. Ancient Babylon never walked with the Lord, dwelling by many waters. Dmitri Dudeman was visited by an angel, and that's the exact same thing that Dmitri did to show, I mean, that the angel showed Dmitri how the United States is Babylon. Here's a picture of the USA. You can see the geography here. We're surrounded by many waters. A praise of the whole earth. So the conclusion here is, Reviewing these characteristics of these two chapters, 1551, it's clear that ancient Babylon is not being described here. The USA fits every single one of these clues. Therefore, this is the United USA, is this modern version of Babylon. And look what it says. It says, out of the north, a, land, a nation, that would be Russia, shall make her land a desolation. 
Then it says this, the sea has come up on Babylon. She is covered with tumultuous waves. Ancient Babylon was not covered with waves, with tsunamis. Obviously, if the asteroid hits out here in the Atlantic, or there are huge earthquakes, the USA, Babylon, will, will be covered with waves, just as Jeremiah predicted it. So let's talk about the Vatican for a second. Here is a picture of Italy, and here's this little tiny Vatican city here. I would hardly think that the Vatican, does the Vatican have, jump up here, is the Vatican the hammer of the whole earth? Do they have a military that goes everywhere? Are they the last of the nations? Do they produce movies, TV, film? Obviously they are rich. They don't dwell by any water. <laughs> Were they ever right with God? I don't think so. So for people to say that ain't, that this new futuristic Babylon is the Vatican just seems to me silly when you look at the clues. So guys, with that, I'll let you go. Have a great day and God bless you.